one minute. Let me get that done. Okay. Good. Loud. Okay, everybody. How's everybody doing today? And uh, this is our newest edition of Three Men in a Bottle. I'm your host, Ryan Maloney. And of course, joining me on the dais, as always, is the spirits medium himself, Mr. Randall J. Bird. And uh, Johnny on the spot, Frisky Whiskey. John Hendricks is here, um, cradling a baby. I'm rocking <laughs> Isn't that a bottle, this though? A bottle. Yeah, this is a baby. Get He's not, he, he get... won't give it up. It's almost... <laughs> It's almost time for bottle. <laughs> All right. Well, John, why don't you present to us today what we're doing in three men in a bottle? We we like to go over this. You're allowed two sips. That's the side of the rules. You start to give your opinion and what you think about it, and we go from there. All right. And so today, so what are we presenting today? I have Dixon Deadman's two times oaked tribute blends. Okay. Which is a bourbon. Yep. And um, I think we had the honor. Well, we did have the honor of having um, Dixon here. When Dixon's he, a great guy. When I, he did his initial release. So this is part of the Icon series, where they're all just one and done. Starting with the Phoenix blend was first, and then the Innkeepers blend. Was Innkeepers second. blend was my is been so far. I haven't had this one yet, but been so far. I really do like the Innkeepers blend. We did sell out of that one. Yeah. So that one's that one's gone, and they're just each gone now. Most a lot of you know Dixon is the gentleman who started basically uh kentucky owls since moved on doing this what's cool about all the stuff that we're doing um with the two xo twice times oak is basically this was um all distilled by uh jim rutledge um at castle and key um if memory serves me correct yeah and um and, and then dixon is doing these specific blends uh to showcase that but in a limited run series so this is the this is the last one out right now, right? I think there's a new one coming out, or is it's just out. out? It's, it's out. out. It's okay. on our shelf right next to this one. Okay, so we this is the the uh, the, the third in the series. It's just the tribute series, yep. and the tribute is to his parents. You know, um, his whole family coming from Kentucky Owl. That's yep. where Dixon yep. originally came from, and so there's a little bit of a heritage there. And his whole um, his whole thing is blending. Yeah, so and rightfully so. Yeah, it does a great job at it. Um, All right, like I said, usually. So, what are the rules here? Uh, two sips for a sip. We always take two sips, two sips, and then you can go back after that. Mm. But sort of give you what you think about it. Um, you know, maybe a little bit of tasting notes or what, how, whatever you feel like doing is sort of how we go about this. And at the end, we basically say, you know, buy or pass. There's no real rating system. We just right. want to make sure that everybody else. Now, memory but this has been poured into our glasses, but we haven't yet sampled it. So no. we're about to go about to do that. Okay. Um, this uh, retails for around a hundred dollars. Correct. Put that out there. And while All you right. guys are sipping, I will go on to say this is also 52% ABV. Okay. So 104. 104 proof. All right. Yep. Kentucky straight. Yeah, it's a blend of Kentucky straight with uh, straight bourbons, right? Yeah. And I have to say. Yeah, it's a blend of Kentucky straight. Well, hold my comment for a second here. Okay. I'm two, I'm two sips in. Everybody else there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Randall Bird, you want to uh you want to take it first? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. It's 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 good. <laughs> I know you, thank like, you. People, so Sorry, moving on. People get very flowery about how they're talking about stuff and very descriptive. This is a delicious bourbon that is very soft and gentle, kind of on the palate, has a lot of those rich notes, and then there's like a kind of an oaky edge that may hint to like smoke, although I'm out that there's any kind of smoke in this oh, right but soft sweet with a light hint of that oakiness and and smoke this is delicious bottle it's uh going to be a kind of a limited run for this series right yeah, we whatever we and have at 100 we have. bucks for a bottle this is a fantastic gift to somebody who knows whiskey this would probably be a little bit expensive for somebody who's just gonna try and drink it all in an evening or throw Get it to the point with whatever yeah <laughs> getting so, to the point i like it i'm enjoying it all right, no, so very nice job. I, okay, I, I would definitely agree with all that. I definitely got like the sweet on the initial delivery, and then um, it moved back to the mid palate a little bit. There, definitely get some of those. A, a little, you're right, a little bit of tannin, I think, on the on the on the back end through the finish. Um, a little, a lot of butterscotch and caramel. It's overall, it's this is a delicious whiskey. Like I, I do really like this one quite a bit. I think this stands out. 
Dixon Deadman is dead on uh, uh, with his blends. I mean, this is this is exactly. Um, I, I I think he's I, I think in this series he's only getting stronger. Um, in the whole that, series, sure. um, you know, like I said, I like the innkeepers was my my favorite. This may move this this may actually just 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 top the last one. Um, um, but I really like it. Like you said, it, it's got, it's got some good wood spice without being overpowering. It's there, but not, um, it's not the main meal. Um, I think, uh, the, the, the caramel notes, the toffee notes in this, uh, more than make up for it. Um, not drinking. I, I feel not drinking at like, what did I, what did I say? That was 102, 104, uh, yeah, 104, 104, uh, I, I, it's, I'm not really getting any type of real alcohol burn on this at all. Great job. Uh, here's a uh, salute to you. <laughs> yeah. Dixon. Uh, yeah. thank you very much. And uh, that, I think that's a buy from us, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And I think this would go into one of those for the people who are in the know, maybe not a hidden shelf gem because it's not uh, price wise, something that is price wise, but also readily available all the time. Right. But this is going to be something that you, for the people who love bourbon, this would be a great pick. See it, uh, buy it. Probably would not be the best gift for somebody you're trying to impress because they probably may not know that unless their palate is speaking for the, uh, you're speaking to their palate. Yeah. So thank great. you. Yeah. Well, that's uh that concludes this uh, edition of a three men in a bottle and uh, hope to see you guys next time. Thank you very much for joining us.